Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, my voice sounds a little rough today. As I promised, I am streaming on Friday um, because I might not be able to stream on Sunday because, as I stated, I'm going to a convention um, over the weekend. And so we just wouldn't have time, but I definitely want to make sure I get this done um, and get to interact with everybody. So, uh, pretty like a, the title might suggest with Helio by Busters, for those who are on my live, um, we are continuing to work on this, uh, ah, darn, my brain died, uh, this event, the Foxy and Tail the Haunted, um, which has been quite exciting and fun for me. Um, I did finish off stream the Stellar Shadow Seekers, sh uh, event because of the fact that it is pretty limited. It would have been over <laughs> rather shortly by now if I hadn't, as you can see by the time. And it's not one of the ones that is, as you see, doesn't have the mark, so it's not going to be one of the ones that transfers over uh, into things you can play uh, later in the game. It was actually pretty cute and simple. You just go around taking photos for March because her photos had been corrupted by um, space travel. Um, and you do get this really cute um, little Polaroid for fi finishing the event. Where is it? Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Here it is. Um, so You end up taking this photo together with her at the end, and you get like a little keepsake photo card. So I'd say it's pretty cute. Um, and you can also get a high morale for your choices during it, so that was also nice. <laughs> yes, Jane, you won. Uh, and then a new event has released, and as you can see, it also has that marker. Um, same time frame as this event, so I'm hoping to get like the majority of this done today. Um, let's see. Uh, if I can get like two of these main uh, little side quests done and then only have this one left, I might be able to start on this one next time so that uh, we can get this one done on stream before the event ones. Because the, even though you can play these later, we have found out from the Pokemon one that these limited time awards, all of these stellar jades you can get from it, are only available when it's first released. Once you are playing it later, you don't get those. Hence why they're limited. Um, I think that's mostly it, and I've told you about everything. We have a few accomplishments uh, that we... I've gotten off stream. So we have obtained five five star relics from the Omni Synthesizer. Uh, I can show you that, but I have been working on some of their builds. Um, unfortunately, all my work into Jing Yuan's build is worthless because currently uh, the, one of the new artifact sets is better for him than the set I was using. So I have to start from scratch there. Um, and then, thank you for your service. Defeat Branya without defeating the Silverman guards. And Dragon Trifecta. Use Frugal Leap during Don Hong Inhibitor Lunae's turn for three consecutive times in a single battle. So, you know, got some battle stuff. Um. And then, these are the guys I've mostly been working on. I still have not used this, like, the... Cavern of Corrosion, the relic farm um, that gives these. So I actually just use the Omni Synthesizer to get every single one of these pieces <laughs> um, so that he would finally have the gold set instead of the four set I've been working off of. Um, I've mostly just been focusing on building my Gepard because I love him and he is my favorite. Probably when I'm able to get the uh, pick or <coughs> excuse me like pull your favorite um, or pull the custom five star once you do 300 pulls on the standard banner I will probably end up picking Gepard just to get his E1 because um, I got this and 
I favor him greatly, guys. But anytime I do Caverns of Corrosions because of, like, events and stuff, or this event, the Planar Warp ones, I always just pick the stuff that would go well on Gepard. Unfortunately, I haven't really gotten any good relics for him. I've gotten a couple, but nothing, like, amazing. Uh... And then I fully uh, got this one from the Omni Synthesizer as well. Um, because originally, this set had been the best set for Jinguan, and I've been working really hard on it. Um, but now with the newest set releases, apparently this set is better for him. So, gotta start from scratch, as I said. Life is as ephemeral as it is. You be quiet. Um... I think that's about it, because I became Trailblazer level 70 last time, so that's nothing new. Uh, what is new is uh, our man's here, and you can see I have been saving for a hot minute for him. Um, and I want to pull so bad, but um, we're going to wait a bit. We'll do it at the end of the stream. Otherwise, I'll get distracted wanting to play him. Um, so, like I said, we're going to work on the Ghostbusters. And I think I was supposed to do, like, the fights off screen. I told you all I would do that. Um, I think I forgot. We'll see once we can get to, like, the uh, this thing. We'll check there. Because I think I was supposed to do these fights off screen. Yeah, I was. And I just actually forgot to do them. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we have some... Let's do this date. And Oh, that's another thing. Man, I didn't write it down and therefore instantly forgot. Oh my gosh. Because I was supposed to do this off screen too. Because it's like a daily thing. The last one was a beginner test. This game will be much harder. Shut your mouth, face me, and find out. Oh my gosh, my voice is gonna leave me. Oh my gosh, I was supposed to do- oh my goodness. I- guys, I just- Did not do anything I said I would. Same thing with the Discord. I said I'd have the Discord up by this by this live stream. Um, I have been a very very busy bee the last week in prep getting trying to get everything done in preparation for this convention. Uh, <laughs> like I've had to move furniture around, um, and then just I think the only oh my gosh, yeah I haven't gotten anything done this week to be honest that hasn't been con related. Who said that? I expect to do from someone I've deemed to be my opponent. You have some skill, I'll give you that. Oh, a delightful surprise. He's so snooty sounding, I love it. Um, but yeah, I haven't done anything. I swear <laughs> I'll actually work and get this done. Uh, like I'll get this stuff done off screen after this time, I swear. Okay, so this is the one... Right, right, right. So the one we're doing currently is, uh... Where weird activity is happening at the Divine, uh, Divine Foresight area. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Ching Chui is the one who reported it. Um, and I think we had just defeated, um... Cirrus again. Um, to... Man, I have been slacking on my dailies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
yeah, Ching Chui had stumbled upon everybody acting super weird at the Seed of Divine Foresight, um, and we think it's a Heliobus, uh, possession. It wouldn't be that one. It's this one, isn't it? That one. That one needs to go here. No way, that one was already in the right spot. This one needs to go down. See guys, when I said that the first one and the last time I did this on stream was like weirdly stumping, that's what I meant. Like usually I do those super fast, like those are super easy um, puzzles to me, so I don't know why that was so difficult that time. Oh yeah, another reason why I've been working on relics is not really because I wanted to, but because I actually had this maxed out. I quite literally could not get any more relics <laughs> because I was at 1,500. And so I just started like going through quite a bunch of them um, so that I could delete them out of my inventory. Oh, I think I'm finally starting to get my voice. I just got up this morning. It's my day off, guys. So like, <laughs> um, I just got up like 20 minutes ago. So that's why my voice is so rough. Just get the, mo the ingenium to forget I exist. Okay, Ching Chui, you've seen some weird phenomenon. Is that a Ten Lords Commission judge? Something's amiss in the Divination Commission. Everyone is mumbling to themselves. Is this some workforce overhaul? Did I set a bad example? Uh, I'm afraid not, Miss Ching Chui. Something unexpected happened. I'm just not sure how to explain it. They're being possessed. Well, anyway, there's a dangerous situation at the Divination Commission at the moment. So just don't go in there. Also, I'm munching. I'm so sorry if you all can hear that. Um, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. When I say I just got up, I literally got up and started streaming. Good idea. With working conditions like these, I wouldn't be able to concentrate anyway. I heard from Alway that the Artisanship Commission is also experiencing strange phenomena. Several of the apprentices have started babbling nonsensically. It's kind of scary. Of course, it could just be a side effect of being denied graduation. Same. In that case, Miss Jingtre, could you stand guard here for us while we investigate? It doesn't seem like a good idea to just stand here under such dangerous circumstances, does it? <laughs> she tried to skip on work in any situation. Love that for her. I mean, you could leave, but... Wait, are you thinking of coming with us? Didn't you see how bad the situation was? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it all right. But if I leave now, won't that count as an authorized absence? I can get away with slacking off, but the Master Diviner won't tolerate complete abandonment of my post. Besides, you guys need someone familiar with the Divination Commission to show you the way, right? Then let's go. I have a pretty decent map. What's going on? Me, okay, I'm uh, I'm a little scared. <sighs> what are they looking at? Is everyone okay? There is only one way. Divination is meaningless. How did the matrix of prescience become like this? Look. Diviner Fu is standing at the center of the Matrix of Prescience. What is she doing? Judging by her chanting, I think she's performing navigation calculations. 
or divining, but something's not right. The Matrix of Prescience isn't moving at all. A Heliobus? Is that the danger you were talking about? I like that you can choose to tell, explain the situation to her or not, and then you just like, you're like, oh, she's being possessed. I read about them in a book. Starfire essence that can transform itself. Enjoys manipulating the dreams and desires of mortals. You mean the Master Diviner is being controlled by something like that? How can we snap her out of it? Uh, we could try ringing the harmonic chime. If we're close enough, we should be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion. I like how it says shake instead of ring. Silence. Idle chatter is not permitted in the Divination Commission. Master Diviner! You're awake! Or perhaps we should call you Caroloom. It doesn't matter what you call me. I am the master of the Divination Commission. The current divination has reached a delicate stage, and no one is permitted to disturb it. Not even a judge of the Ten Lords Commission or a guest from the Astral Express. Ching Chue. I have grown weary of your insubordination. Are you the one who brought these outsiders into the commission? Have you turned a deaf ear to all the rules I've laid down? That is so relatable, the just like, <laughs> smile. Ching Chue, you are hereby expelled from the commission. Oh, I sudden unemployment. That's now we're down one person. A great idea! <laughs> My days here really have been unproductive. Loafing around outside and playing Celestial Jade. All while taking a Divination Commission salary. It's... How to put it? Quite the right way to describe it. I would call it wasting my life away. Thank you, Master Diviner, for giving me the push I needed. Since you feel that my skills could be put to better use elsewhere, it's time for me to think about making some changes. But before I leave, I have to help these guests take care of some trouble here at the commission. If I don't, people will think I was fired because of cowardice in the face of danger. What next? What do we do now? <laughs> Giving a dramatic speech to my boss was cool and everything, but it's not gonna help her break free from the Heliobus cloud in her mind. I'm not sure what to do. The Heliobus isn't trying to trap us inside the illusion, and it doesn't look interested in attacking us either. Clouding my mind? I've never been a clearer mind than I am right now. From now on, I will dedicate myself to defining the predetermined futures of the C and Joe Alliance, and will make these futures known to the world so that all can live in clarity. I know what you want to say. Spare me the lecture on human wisdom prevailing over nature and those ridiculous notions of free will. These are but crude illusions created by the brain. From the beginning, there was only one path. Uh, I feel like, uh, what is his name? Elios? Elios? The one that's in charge of the Stellaron Hunters that is, like, cursed with being able to see all paths of, like, the future? Uh, would disagree with you. You. You are nothing more than a pawn at the mercy of the Stellaron Hunters. That is true. <laughs> but I think I put myself will here willingly if Kafka's uh, companion mission says anything about it. What day you boarded the Express, who your enemies are, where you go. These choices that you think you make freely of your own accord are mere tributaries. That will eventually converge on the path of destiny. Your journey to the Sien Joe the defeat of Fantilia. All these were written into a script long ago by that slave to destiny, hidden in the shadows. 
Even in this very moment, your options are few. Ready your bat and charge at me. Argue with me loudly and futilely. Or fall into silence. <laughs> Don't let her words get to you. There are always other options. I can make some opinions, but I do agree that, like, Elios, I think, which is the slave to destiny, um, is kind of, like, guiding all of my major important decisions um, on the pathway to uh, wherever we're going. I also think that I agreed to it in some capacity based off of Kafka's uh, statement that we might have been Stellaron hunters prior to our amnesia, uh, specifically someone that worked with Kafka, um, or at least admired her quite a bit. And somehow our fate, the reason we're like this, is also linked to why Kafka is working so willingly with Elio. Elio. Um, and so, because that's what Blade told us. And so, I think it's kind of like, it's, yeah, I think it's predetermined in some, on the major plot points. But... We kind of agreed to this setup, I'm sure. Uh, well, ready your bat, let's go! Violence! The rise and fall of the tides are dictated by the fire trigram and the water trigram. You are powerless against such a force. You have no hope of defeating me. Venting your anger is meaningless. Anger cannot change that which is already ordained by destiny. All offense, no defense. Is that your strategy? Your attacks won't land on me. Only on these innocent puppets. Battles are chess games. Such trivial choices cannot change the inevitable. If you are still not convinced, I can demonstrate to you the true nature of destiny in a way that your human brain can comprehend. Then follow me. Off we go, everyone. What is this? This place is what the Divination Commission calls the Pathfinder. It's a sandbox game the diviners use to simulate future paths and exercise our minds. But why did the master diviner bring us here? This is the uh, what the the supposed chess ghost that doesn't play chess. Uh, this is the game they make us play. That's right. Now listen. If you place an ingenium in this little maze and give it a command. It will find its way to the exit precisely as it was commanded to do so. Are humans not the same as they navigate the path of destiny set before them? No, because the Ingenium does not have any will to like do what it wants. Because you can tell it to go to the right, and a lot of circumstances may make try to make the Ingenium turn to the right. But if it's like if it's a human, a human can be like, everything in life is like, making them look like they would want to turn right, but just because humans are like, arbitrary like that, they might turn left anyway. But you're probably thinking, humans are not machines, there is more than one path in the universe. Yes, I am. And yet machines we are, complex, sophisticated, but machines. We are just like the Ingenium in this maze. We have no options to speak of. We can only navigate one path. The one that takes us to our destination. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. It feels like we're dancing to the Heliobus's tune. Let's go. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the-
Okay. Well done. Your choices are as the Omnisia foresaw them. You should know that there was only one answer to this puzzle from the beginning. Just as destiny has only one path. Yes, for a puzzle that was designed from the start. Choosing any other path would be a pointless mistake. But the universe isn't someone's game. And no one is designing puzzles for us to solve. The universe doesn't have a single answer. We can do anything we want while we're in it, even if it's the same work every day. I can hide in the library and read a book, or find someone to play Celestial Jade with. And that's freedom. I never thought slacking off could convince me of anything. The sign of a true scholar. A diviner of the Divination Commission, after all. <laughs> Sushong, snap out of it. A slacker Heliobus is getting into your head. Ching Chue, Ching Chue. For you, life may have a seemingly infinite number of choices. That is because your choices are simply different ways of slacking off and wasting time. They are of no consequence to anything. But for me, choices come with very real consequences. <sighs> That's the most divinery thing you've said so far. As the master diviner of the La Fu, I have a heavy responsibility. I must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. Some paths look promising, but lead to an abyss of despair. Then there are small trails that plunge deep into unimaginable darkness. And in the end, I realize that we have no real choices. There is only one path to follow. Only one way to the optimal solution, even if it is paved with ashes and bitterness. There is only one way, and there only ever was. What do we do? I don't think we can persuade her. I violence, have a violence. Why don't we try a more advanced sin? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Ching Tre! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. Let's be- Man, they really want me to play this game. Alright, uh, five. No, that's not right. That's also not right. Uh, cause here, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I was adding like an extra step. Was more. The path changed slightly, but it was just as simple. I'm sure the Master Diviner would say, Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again, exactly as it was. You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue? 
I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Caroloom. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. I mean, if she's got a trick up her sleeve. I didn't mean like that. Ready to begin. Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Miss Chingtra, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingchua has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. Oh, we're, we're physically going in the sandbox. I was wondering. I was like, oh, was there another path I hadn't thought of? You go stand in the sandbox. Right about that spot over there. Oh, we now become like a uh, obstacle Next, for it to Judge detect. Wolfo, you stand on the other side of the room and stop shaking. Oh, look, it's me. All right, we're ready. And now the second path appears. You know, if they don't consider this cheating. Let's begin. Um... I think that's it. There was more. I don't see what the plan of the trailblazer was, but you know. This is the other solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability, ambushing your opponent, twists and turns, the balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No. The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers, our Master Diviner is making endless choices, Fighting against the odds just so the lawful can travel safely for another day. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? 
Julie of us, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Bushwen! Don't push me away! Don't let her words fool you! Kiriloom, release the Master Diviner! I see through your trickery! I see through every bit of it! I'm going to lose! Victory is beyond my reach! Why? Why is there no alternative? Never falter! Everything in this universe is predetermined. No! I am no path to victory. Made to be broken. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> There's no time to lose. In the name of Len, a will forged in ice never falters! <laughs> Follow my charge. Show no mercy. Excuse me. Is that it? Is that all? Conflict is pitiless. Let's go. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Rules are made to be broken. In the name of Landa, a will forged, forged in, in ice, ice never, never falters. falters. Divinity. Much better. Hope you're prepared. There's no time to lose. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Follow my charge. Let's go. No mercy. There's no time to lose. In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters. Here is thunder. I'll see you off. Is that all? Let's make it quick. Master Diviner! Are you all right? Uh, I... I'm fine. Just a small headache, nothing more. It 
It's normal to experience some discomfort after being possessed by a heliobus, but nothing a few medicinal pellets can't take care of. Uh, is that Carolum? <laughs> they may not be the most powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. Hurry! Just hurry up and see me in the darkness. I've foreseen what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Again, we roll we run into the Thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. The morals of imprisoning fully sentient beings. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the commission. So... that counts, right? I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract's been unilaterally terminated, then. With all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package. And I already planned what to do with all the money. I'm gonna open a gaming parlor, hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> what a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Heliobus. Uh, in any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can! After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br I mean, get back to work. <laughs> Fushwen was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're going to be stuck here working for the rest of your days. My actions today brought great shame mm. on the Divination Commission. Hmm. I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> Just kidding. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. What is it? You tell Fu Shuen the details of your operation. Mm. I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. Cosplay? many things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Fixtral Garden and seal Carolum away. Expel evil and capture stray spirits. With the support of the Ten Lords Commission Spirit Fairs, you seal the helio by within the Lunumbra Gorge. Like your operations have met with some success. I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious matters. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo would acquire inner demons, and Heliobus can take advantage of those. Fortunately, with your help, Fu Shren prevailed over her intruder. Do you enjoy listening to storytellers and watching immersion? 
In both cases, tales have a predetermined ending. But you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them, should you? The same is true of life. Whether the end is predestined or not, it's worth living. Very well. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the suppression towers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to pull for Hanya as well. Definitely hope we get at least one of her and Argenti. me trying to get to her. <laughs> Miss Hanya. On behalf of the Ten Lords Commission, I commend you for your great service in resolving the Divination Commission crisis. I will honor all of you before the Ten Lords. Thanks, Madam Hanya. But, uh, we really couldn't have defeated Carolyn without Miss Tintre's help. I didn't realize that one as skilled as Diviner Fu would also be susceptible to the power of the Heliobi. That said, I can understand her plight. After all, we're all moving forward on our own unseen paths in no uncertain terms. Judges are instructed by the Ten Lords to carry out their orders, but no one ever explains their meaning to us. Just like the Master Diviner, no matter what cruel and horrible paths she foresaw, as long as it benefited the Lofu, she had to make a choice. Those choices may be correct and far-sighted, but we are, after all, flesh and blood, and we cannot help but agonize over the process of making them. Madam Hanya? I apologize. I was getting carried away. I think all the paperwork must have worn down my mental acuity. Today's business is finished. Please get some good rest. Right. Let's call it a day. And you too, Judge Hanya. Don't work yourself to death. It's finally time to get back to bed. Goodbye, everyone. Why don't we start with Hua Hua and talk about what we did today? Today we sealed the Heliobus Carolyn. Thanks for the help, everyone. By the way, Miss Ching Choi looks so cool. True dat. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something funny. A while back, I got this message from someone accusing me of plagiarizing their shop review videos. They even threatened to take legal action if I didn't respond right away. I simply replied, nah, it's my own stuff from last year. And they argued that there's no statute of limitations for plagiarism and whether I uploaded that video 10 years ago or 100 years ago, it should still count as plagiarism. That means you're famous now. That's what I think, too. Why don't you go check our follower account? I'm feeling like I'm floating on cloud nine now. You've been floating there for a while. You've been floating there for a while. Don't forget to go check. My neighbor's dad- my neighbor's dead wife seems to have come back and the sky keeps crying. My apologies for rambling on just now. Today's work is finished. Please make sure to get some rest. You say that, but I have limited time, so we're just gonna keep going. Alright, um, yep. Yeah. So, as long as we can get Sword Essence done today, I feel like we'll be pretty much on track. That's a lot to put on the Divination Commission. How will you guys deal with this kind of trouble? i just give up and walk away. Not possible. Usually it's the people at the bottom who get short into the stick and have to clean up the mess. For quite some time, the Divination Commission has been burning the wick at both ends at overtime work. People still need to strike a good balance between work and life, especially the Master Diviner, because if sleep is always sacrificed and the possibility of growing taller dies with it. Real name underscore online. <laughs> This is so- this literally is so reddit coded. I want to see you two fight until rivers of color bl red with your guys' blood. 
Sesame, so I totally get what you're saying. Sometimes when I simply have too much work to finish on time, I'll just secretly cut the power supply of my department. <laughs> I see. And which department are you from again? And who the heck are you? You're not the boss of me. And the master divider gets angry. She's so cute. Loving this. Click for cute dating de videos. Cheap and affordable prices. Not the bot. Not it being so realistic that they have the bot in there. Oh my gosh. Do you have any plans after reaching 100k fans? Welcome. I've been a huge fan of yours since my past life. Oh geez, little, it's the real little gui. Sending love your way. Your popularity is entirely up to how we feel about you. You got that? It's, always, it's already very popular. 100k fans should be easy. Let me see how many people are already OG fans even before 50k. Saw a little Gwei in person. She's so cool. I washed my hair upside down and then we replied to it right there. Um, of course, you gotta do the, the fan uh, reply, right? Rather than slaving away at work, I'll just walk away and de-stress. Alright, dead wife. My neighbor is a widow, Foxy, a man named uh, Wen Yan. Usually he, we help each other out in the neighborhood, however in recent days Wen Yan hasn't been seen outside during the daytime. When I asked him what he's been up to lately, he said that his wife has returned and he plans to take her to our alley for a stroll. But wasn't his wife, uh, Roxy, deceased 30 years ago? Moreover, he doesn't seem quite himself these past few days. Could it be that he's been possessed by a spirit? Interesting. Everyone, see the link just now? If you told me Heliobi did this, I'd hardly be surprised. Getting back on topic, when did going home become so tempting? Focus now, and also, that's really freaky. How freaky! If it weren't for the very fact that OP made up the whole thing, I'd definitely say it was a Heliobi haunting. Some Heliobi will take advantage of victims' deepest desires to call forth all kinds of illusions. They torture the victim, draining them of all emotion and desires, putting them in a grave danger. I understand. Go something squad, move out. Oi. I PM the OP and he sent me the address. Kayla's, please could you check that out? I'll head over once I take care of something first. Let's look at let, looks like it's over to you. Hmm, thanks. I'll be over real soon. Okay, and we got a second one. Released. I love the little ghost noises. Ugh. The music in the background is just top tier. A few games of chess will while away the time. Uh, that look in his eye. Surely he's waiting to meet up with someone here, right? It must be the person little Gwei asked me to find. That, um, you, uh... Ah, don't worry about it. Er, my name is Insomniophile. Little Gwei sent you, right? I thought I'd be meeting up with her in person. It's like this. My neighbor is that old foxy and grandpa who lives by himself called Wen Yuan. Wen Yuan is an introvert who keeps to himself and hardly ever gets to interact with anyone, but recently at night there's been laughter coming from his place. Somehow this guy has turned into a person filled with radiant joy. One time I bumped into him at the market and asked him about it. He told me it was his wife, Ryoxi, finally coming home after over 30 years abroad. That's on me for writing everything so clearly in my post. I didn't leave any room for suspense. 
You should let me tell you the rest of the story. I remember when they were married. As a neighbor, I congratulated them in person. Unfortunately, these two did not live happily ever after. Ever heard of the great battle of the Fang Hui 30 years ago? Ryoxi, she sacrificed her life in that battle. And yet, here she was again. I don't actually believe in ghosts or anything, let alone coming back from the dead. I posted this on that spooky thread just because I didn't know whom to turn to for help. This morning I heard him say that he was going shopping around Aram Alley with his wife. You should be able to find them there. I asked the person who made the post and they said that they could find the couple in Aram Alley. Sounds cool. Nothing like fruitless investigation I'm caught up in. I came across a post about an ancient guipin uh, that all of a sudden started playing mournful melodies on it. So, and guess what? Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Turns out it's actually an aging weapon that can just self-play. And someone recently gave it a new battery. Well, that's typical. Looks like Kalos has found something really strange. Um, that would be me. I'm the one who did that. Uh, actually, it's not really... I did that. That's one of the side quests you can do. One of, the, like, the mini missions. You find a Guipin, um, and there's a Heliobi possessing it. And you resolve its its last will and testament, and then it just starts playing the melody continuously. <laughs> my bad, Sushong, my bad. Looks like Hua Hua found them. Let's go up and meet with her. Did you notice? This is Mr. Wen Yuan, and he doesn't seem possessed, and this Heliobus is also quite unusual. Things seem to have gotten more complicated than anticipated. Let's go. We can only ask. Hmm. This place is very different from the Lafu that I know. Only you are the same. <laughs> so are you. Just the same. Uh, are you free to chat right now? Er, so, we'd like to talk to the two of you. Yeah, but he's probably being deceived willingly. No, you may not. Even a blind person can tell what our relationship is. I don't know you and I don't know what you're trying to do, but please leave my wife alone. You're the one who's not a real person. Keep your mouth shut. Please, please don't embarrass us. We're just a husband and wife out on a date. I see you're too gentle with them. There's no to be soft and kind with these two hooligans. Dear, we shouldn't make a big scene of this. That girl is a judge from the Ten Lords Commission. Let's just pretend that any offense caused didn't happen. We're leaving here right now, okay? No, no, please wait. When Yuan is already completely enraptured by the Heliobus, Roxy trying to use the harmonic chime. Or try using it. Ooh. Ignore that, everyone. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn off the alarms. Okay, I turned off those alarms so that that wouldn't happen again. Roxy, what's wrong with you? No, don't look at me, please. Turn around. What have you ruffian done? Put her back. Hang on, Wen Yuan. Let me and him have a chat. So I can't hide anything from the judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Fine. Are you here to rest me? <sighs> Do you think I didn't know that I was too stupid to realize? What did you have to lay it all out like that for? Wen Yuan, don't say that. They're from the Ten Lords Commission, so... They do things by the book. At first it was like you said, I disguised myself as Rexy in the vain hopes of cheating him. But when Yuan is a very smart man, he probably saw straight through everything at first sight. These happy days we've been spending together have been nothing more than a tactic game of playing house. But this feeling, it's real. I once thought that as being of Starfire essence, I could never learn to love or be loved, but I was wrong. So I beg you, please don't let me lose what we've only just gained. Miss Rusi, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Wen Yuan has changed much since the two of you met. Have you noticed that despite not taking possession, you still unintentionally consume the host's body? You're right. I'm being selfish. Rusi, you know I never cared about any of that. 
I'll soon wither away from exposure to a heliobus. I already know that. My boy, this is just what I used to research back in my days studying at the Sienjo Zooming's Academy. I'm sorry. Right from the very start, I never should have. Don't say that. Seeing you one more time is a price paid by a lifetime of conserved luck. My boy, I know you have to act according to the rules of the Tin Lord's Commission, but I'm asking you to relax just a little. Once we spent our final moments together, she will definitely come for you. Yes, please give us, give us a little more time, and then I will dutifully go with you. Wahua looks a little awkward. She hopes you can help her come to a decision. Do you respect their choice? I know the price I'll pay. I knew it all along. So be it. Thank you. I know you have your orders from Ten Lords Commission. I sincerely, I sincerely appreciate your comforts. Now whatever happens next is going to be my own decision. It has nothing to do with you. You don't have to bear any guilt or shame about this. When you on, is this really for the best? You, do you really want to give up so much? I've already spent 30 long, hard years waiting for you to come back. Maybe it'll be quick, or maybe it'll take forever before I can finally find relief. But now, you're back. Back by my side. Even if you're not really you, even if you're just the joke of fate, I'm still happy. Thank you, no matter who you are, Roxy. We should get out of here. Goodbye, Miss Judge, and to you, my boy. When Yu Yuan hurriedly left with threats, perhaps he was worried that we'd take our decision back, essentially. Are we... is this for the best? How we go back to Victral Garden and talk things over with Gwynefin first? Let's go. It's like, if he, is, if he knows the results, like, he's well informed of what's gonna happen to him, uh, it should be his decision to make. Especially since the Heliobi does not seem, uh, aggressive in any way. He told Gwynefin about Winyon's decision. I see. Wahua doesn't know whether she was right or wrong, but when is she ever gonna get a simple case of right and wrong in this world of ours? Anyway, the whole thing's over and done with now. Let's post on the Ghostly Grove, okay? I can understand Mr. Winyuan's sentiments. It's hard to accept someone leaving. I'm the same. Huh? Don't be sad, Hua Hua. Let me take you out to the Spices Supreme. No, no, we still have lots to get done. Leave Hua Hua with me, and leave the work to Kalis. If Shushang were in, she'd be sure to agree with me. Come with us, Kalis. Gwenifin takes care of the da-da-da, I couldn't read it in time. As for Winyuan and Roxy, I trust they'll give you an explanation on their own. To your eternity. Ooh. What is to your eternity? Choose to let the Heliobus go amid Win Yuan and Roxy's earnest pleas. Okay, we got a text message. Oh, we got a few of them. Ah! Kalis, are you there? What's the hurry? What's going on? It's something super urgent. Palm Home doesn't even want to think about it. The train's long overdue. Cleaning day is almost upon us. Ah! Oh, I get it now. So you want me to come back and help you with the cleaning? Not really. But if you're willing to lend a hand, Kalos, that would be great. But we're on the way to our nearest, uh, Washtopia. Come back and see me when you have the time. Night of the Universal Hallucinations. Oh, I wonder who that is for. Dick, um, Dr. Dig. Hey, Kalos, got a minute for some matches? The Fight Club is gearing up for an awesome martial exhibition. All amazing fight fighters like you are welcome. What's a martial exhibition? 
uh, Marshall exhibition is built around a different kind of match where the focus is more on the overall entertainment value rather than the actual outcome. The Fight Club organizes several of these matches each year. Unlike regular matches, fighters get to showcase their unique sty style of martialism in each bout. It's hard to put into words, and once you step into the ring, you'll get it. If you're interested, just head over to the Fighting Club and sign up. Who wants some milk tea? I ordered two extra. First come, first serve. Little Gway, you let three people fight for two teas, causing a rift in our friendship. How are you going to make up for it? Don't be melodramatic. Sorry you don't get one this time, but I'll treat you next time. I have the receipts. You don't keep your promise. Karma's a witch. I can have them. I can't have them. It's yours. I'm, I'm sorry. The two teas fell on the ground and spilled. Don't worry about giving each other the tea. I'll treat you all. Even if it's a shapeshifter, it's probably fine as long as no harm is done. What does Little Goya Universe think? You can fake the look, but you can't fake the soul. Fake it until you never make it. Hmm, if it can shapeshift into anything... <laughs> I've got this bold idea, teehee. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Hey, I was just thinking about having it turned into myself so I can spar with myself. Me versus me. Okay, never mind. Got the wrong idea. Uh-huh. <laughs> the age old, if you found a clone of yourself, what would you do with it? <laughs> if this creature can turn into me, will it be possible for him to go to work in my place? Tile game forever, Ching Chui. Only if you're willing to go to jail in his place. Then he will get p then he will get s paid in your place. Never underestimate shapeshifters. This is exactly how the Viscorpi disaster broke out in the Cien Show history. My ex-boss was super sus. Maybe he was a shapeshifter. It's better not to wallow in the pain of the past, otherwise you'll neglect the future of endless possibilities, no? Wait a minute, let me get the subscriber thing. Here you go. Fifteen levels. Fam, have you seen the news? This is huge. I've already thought of the plot for the next ghost story. The title will be... OMG, Midnight Ghostly Crying Exposed. You won't believe what's behind it. Bombshell, unmasking the mystery behind the unidentified flying object. Epic, Ghost Hunting Squad majestically owns Invisible Abomination. Mm, not bad, not bad at all. You're getting pretty good at this. In my opinion, a heliobus should be behind this incident too. Do you remember the Cirrus flying episode into, um, it's finally exploded into a rain of fire down from the sky? Mournful cries in the sky. It's possible these originate from all the fleeing fragments from back then. Then, Tail might be among them. It's really a heliobus causing trouble in the sky. Who among us can fly? I'm sure the Tin Lords Commission has a way, right, Hwapwa? Being a judge of the Ten Lords Commission doesn't really let you fly. This is bothersome. If the Heliobus fragments are hiding in the sky, are we supposed to wait for them to fall? Let me think. What should we do? I've got an idea. Kalis, can you come with me? I, I thought of something. Heard from Hanya that Hua Hua has been very good at organizing the props of the Ten Lords Commission, so she's no less of an expert. No, no. Mm, d don't praise me like that. We'll get to the work then. Contact us if you have any questions.
I'm gonna summon the elevator. Judge Huahua, the courier site crane you, um, you need is ready. I'm still not used to being a judge addressed as a judge, but thanks. Judge here. This is a flying Lenumber Mo uh, Gore mobile platform, aka the Exorcist Psychrane you've requested for Judge Hua This is very observant of you. The Lenumber Gourd is in the courier package. Whatever that few, uh, fulfills the purpose of flying with the Lenumber Gourd, I guess, it's actually pretty easy to operate. Anyway, the Psychrane is at the disposal of Judge Hua Among us, do we have anyone who knows how to operate a Psychrane? You notice the two of them looking at you inquisitively. That's me. Are you ready to pilot the Psycrane? Psycrane, start. Okay. Descend. Ascend. Whoop. I suppose this verifies the feasibility of the exorcist Psycrane. Judge Hua please return it in a timely fashion after using it. I will. Let's get moving, Kalis. We should take a look in the place mentioned in the post. And this is one of the other, like, daily things that you need to do. It should be the Heliobi, Kalis. Are you ready? With the help of the exorcist Psychrane, you subdue most of the unruly something. I don't sense tail here, and there aren't any tail fragments. Is that the Heliobus acting weird? It seems fierce. Catch me if you can, kiddo. What's going on? Are you thinking you can catch me with those pathetic skills? Eat dirt. What a concealed dude, Heliobus. You're not fast enough, my boy. Finally, but it's not over yet. Rules are made to be broken. A foregone conclusion. Quintuple Savage. The arrogant Heliobus stops fleeing and returns to the gourd. Not bad, my boy. This is the most exciting adventure I've ever had. What's your intentions? I'm just out to have fun. If you're one being locked in the furnace, you'll find ways to escape from that boring place, too. I'll be able to enjoy myself like this. I guess there's nothing I'm unhappy about. If you got the nerve, then don't let me escape again. Or else I'll... In you go. <sighs> we finally settled this troublemaker. There should only be one location left. March? Eh? Am I seeing things? There should have been a helio by there, right? Let's go quickly and take a look. You rush to March 7th side. Huh? Kalis? And who's this? Greetings. I'm Hua Hua from the Ten Lords Commission. Did you meet any, uh, strange occurrences? Strange occurrence? No, but I did manage to capture some beautiful shots of the scenery. How about this? Take this talisman with you. 
If, any, if something happens to you, it will react. Plot out paste the talisman on March 7th. Nothing happens. Does that mean I'm fine? I, I suppose so. Hmm. So since Kayla said so, I'll take it as if nothing happened. Miss March, don't worry. In, in any case, we'll return to the fictional garden. The thing, in, the, the thing in the Lenumbra Garden needs to be restrained. I took a few nice scenic pictures. No matter how many times I see the Matrix of Prescient's Ultima, I always think it's really something fantastical. Suspicious, but alright. Expel evil and capture stray spirits, and it won't let me read all of it. Heliobus main Starfire said that it left the creation of Furnish for freedom. Do you think the other Heliobi are the same? Perhaps. I don't know, too. Anyway, let's publish a post with the people there at ease. About to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Shocking. What creature is responsible for the ghostly cries of the dead of night? Bombshell. Unmasking the mystery un unidentified flying object. Uh, let's do that one. Even though we did not find any clues about Tail, I'm still grateful to you, Kalis. I will consider you to search for Tail. It is much stronger than st stuff fire, and I'm sure it will be fine. Yes, nothing will happen to it. We have unlocked the next main quest, which is great. In order to catch the run. I always come down here expecting to be able to just walk across, and I always forget that I cannot do that. Can I interact with the workshop first? Give me a second. It's really nice that they have like a, uh, they just let you superimpose from the screen. That's some good game design right there. Okay. A new flying device. Neat. What kind of transport does Little Goy want? Little Goy is riding DTing, of course. Click me for cute DTing videos. Cheap and affordable prices. Oh yeah, by the way, I got my first bot comment on YouTube. That was funny. I was like looking at it being like, what does this even mean? And eventually, once I looked online, it was like, this is a bot. Please delete it as soon as possible so they don't start flocking to your posts. I asked the old lady who pilots Starskios at the Skyfaring Commission, but she didn't see. I feel like Little Goy is not telling the truth. You've never seen it before? You've never seen the Ever Hunt plane savages or the ancient sea creatures? Sky darts are real. I've seen them before. Sky darts incoming! I'm just a poor student. Please gift it to me for free. Praise be for our great artisan commission. Glory to the Cien Show. My evaluation is that it's beneath the Divination Commission. My evaluation is that it's beneath Star, tar star Taro Bubble. No way, no way, no way. Horrifying. Reported. Clout within grass. I'm liking it. It's good exercise. Man, over 100k fans. Good for little Gway. Oh, there was a reward. Oh, all the way up to 39. 
trying to get our illustrious 50 before I buy the Nameless Glory. They've added this just so, for people who go over. Um, what is that? <laughs> Me just ignoring the main quest for books. Alright, um... Right, there was an achievement. I was like, I was going to do one more thing before I talked to them. What was it? Simultaneously trigger three or more Chinzuk smite and end the battle. And clout within grass. Give over ten replies on Ghostly Grove website. Okay. I don't think searching like this is the best way. Diner haunted. Evil spirit breaks into restaurant and eats double its body weight in food. Oh, do you think Tail did this? Seems like his style. Sounds like a very hungry criminal came up with a very poor excuse. What about this one? Uh, paranormal activity reported at exclusive horror immersion. Guests experience haunting within seven days of screening. It reminds me of when I used to watch horror immersion to train my courage. Whenever there was a suspenseful moment, Tail would jump up and scare me. Guys, I feel like this is just some sort of prank. Or a marketing stunt to boost ticket sales. Guagua has been browsing Ghostly Grove for hours. Every time she finds a suspicious incident, she says, Do you think Tail did this? Problem is, any suspicious incident could be Tail-related when you think about it. I feel like Tail is still around. Oh, but if so... Why didn't he come back to see me? Well, he is the Heliobi. That's right. We can't really know what a Heliobus is thinking, right? Tail was sealed away for ages and then suddenly let free. If it were me, I'd want some away time. You'll just have to be a little patient. Anyway, even if you don't find Tail, you're still a great judge. The success of our ghost hunting squad proves it. I, uh, thank you, Miss Gray. I don't really get compliments without the encouragement of you squad members. <clears throat> Working with you guys has made me feel a little more confident. Oh, but it's hard not to think about the days when Tail was still around. Back then, I was a useless coward. I'd hide at the first sign of trouble. Tail would always complain about it. But he'd also get me out of danger. <laughs> Reminds me of me and my brother. Sort of a love-hate relationship. Hey, look at this! Did you find Tail? <laughs> Sushong is like there for it. She's both complaining about it and also being super hey, supportive. Look at this. What do we got? OMG, Cloud Knight's caught doing the unthinkable at the Alchemy Commission. Folks, I've got something to tell you. It happened just yesterday when I was passing by the Alchemy Commission. I heard a uh, strange noise at the entrance. So I gathered my courage to take a look inside. Can you guess what I saw? I spotted one of the Cloud Knights, and they were acting all strange, swinging their weapon around as if they were possessed or something. More than a dozen other Cloud Knights couldn't restrain them. Did anyone else see this? Maybe it might actually be a possession. Have you heard? Lots of alchemists from the Alchemy Commission have mysteriously gone missing. Explain. Something is definitely wrong. Uh, I heard the Alchemy Commission wasn't all that clean. This Cloud Knights might have been killed. The... PG unalived version of killed. No way, no way, no way. I love me some horror at night. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I just want to pull two punches. Pop, pop. Is this something Tail would do? Tail or no tail, it's definitely the work of a Heliobus. Let's hurry up and get to the scene. There'll be trouble to pay if we're too late. Be careful, everyone. This sounds like a very aggressive Heliobus. Oh yeah, I forgot. Aren't we supposed to talk to Cirrus first? Uh, can we do that? Did I just skip that? Let's see if we can. Cirrus, do you have any info for us? Come to laugh at me again, have you little brat? I'm not in the mood for your chatter. Go away! Okay, apparently Cirrus doesn't want to talk with us. I may have accidentally skipped a section. Whoops. Did you 
usually we talk to Cirrus before we do like the main story quests for this event. Hey, calm down. I just learned a new technique. I'll use it to end your life. Unauthorized personnel should keep their distance. It's dangerous here. Actually, we're not really unauthorized, are we, Judge? Well, she's also a Cloud Knight, so she should be allowed to be here anyway. Is that Sushong? The Judge? Why are the Ten Lords Commission here? It's a very long story, so let's deal with the problem at hand first. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, the Ten Lords Commission will handle this. Thank you for your cooperation. Understood. Please, take mercy on him. Don't worry. This sort of thing is our specialty. We are... Name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. A foregone conclusion. Here, this thunder. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Show no mercy. After a struggle, you subdue the crazed Cloud Knight. Judge Huafa, is he all right? His life isn't in danger, but his hands and feet are spasming, and his speech is incoherent. I think he's experiencing a delusion that he can't snap out of. I feel like I've been drained of my strength. Mr. Cloud Knight, sir, are you okay? Can you answer a few questions for me? Do you remember what happened to you? I I think so. Let me think for a moment. <sighs> I received a report today about an infestation of abominations here at the Alchemy Commission. The, the captain sent me to clear it out. What happened after that was like a dream? I, I can't explain it. My weapon suddenly started talking to me? It taught me fighting techniques, which moves to avoid, which moves to use, which stances to adopt to retain balance. Then it told me to relax and let it take control against the enemy. That sounds just like a heliopus. I, I followed its instructions. To my surprise, it felt like my combat skills had greatly improved. Still, it told me I was incompetent, like a piece of rotten wood. It wanted to find a new apprentice to carry forward the art. It was only then that I realized there was a sword-wielding child beside me, staring right at me. Lots of children grow up learning to use a sword on the law few. For a child to be walking around with one. I sure hope we're not thinking of the same person. I realized the boy was the general's retainer, Yin Sheng. Oh, no. <sighs> I knew it. When I heard my sword say the name, I was in disbelief. And then, for some reason, I just attacked Yin Sheng. He, he must have spared me. The funny thing is that I didn't even see him move. I just fell straight to the ground. What happened next was even more outlandish. Yin Xing looked like he was talking to the sword in his hand. He turned around and left without looking back. And my weapon? My weapon never spoke again. Oh, delightful. So now young Ching is possessed. Not good. I'll take care of the Cloud Knight. You go after Yin Ching. All right. Trying to figure out where. Oh, he's like way over here. Okay. blue sword swishes by 
Upon detecting your presence, it approaches and starts flying, flying in circles around you. I heard that Yenching's sword is a famous weapon crafted by the Artisanship Commission. It resonates with its master, reacting to his movements in battle like it has a mind of its own. He must have encountered some kind of danger, and his sword flew away to find someone to help, right? Uh, danger? Miss Shang, don't scare me like that! What kind of evil would be strong enough to pose a threat to Yan Qing? Uh, Yang Qing himself. I'm not sure, but the Helio Bai are strange creatures. Even the sharpest sword can't cut them. Uh oh. I just had a thought. If it's not auspicious, you best not say it out loud. <laughs> Su Shang's like, do not manifest anything into the universe. Based on what that Cloud Knight said, it isn't that Yan Qing's in danger. Exactly. Follow the sword. No matter what, we have to find Yan Qing before things get even worse. The body of an abomination with only a single sword cut on it. I'm coming, sword. Sorry. I'm investigating. The eyes of the slain beast still contain a hint of astonishment, as if seemingly unable to believe the speed at which humans are capable. I leave that abomination alone. He doesn't bother me, I don't bother him. Oh, we're going to the scale gorge? The waves ride on the howling wind, bashing the forward with great intensity. Yanjin's sword hangs in the air, pointing to the distance across the luminescent depths. This is the dock for Dragon Prayer Terrace. Judging by the sword's behavior, that's where Yanjin is. Should they really be charging over there? Even without a Heliobus, Yanjin is a swords master among swords masters. Uh, are, are you scared, Sushong? Me too. Compared to the other Heliobi we've dealt with so far. This one seems like it could do some serious damage. Scared? <laughs> My mother taught me swordplay as soon as I could walk. I might not be as good as the general's apprentice, but I would never let cowardice dishonor the name of the Cloud Knight or the family sword. But I am worried. If the Heliobus possessing Yanjing is too strong, I'm afraid I might not be able to guarantee everyone's safety. The general has been supporting our ghost hunting squad from the very beginning. It's time to return the favor. Even if it wasn't for the general's sake. As a judge, I can't let a Heliobus take over someone as dangerous as Yan Qing. Su Shang, Miss Glade, Mr. Trailblazer, please help me rescue him. I didn't think we had a choice in the matter anyway, but let's Yen go. Yan Qing is at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Let's go. My normal default team. Okay, yeah. Okay, we were in Scale Gorge. Ooh, that doesn't look good. What are all these swords doing in Dragon Prayer Terrace? It must be a Heliobus illusion. Shouldn't we ring the harmonic chime and see if we can talk to Yen Ching inside the illusion? Illusion? Since each of you can see it, wouldn't that mean you'd fallen into the illusion as well? <laughs> Don't be alarmed. To me, this sword formation is a precious arsenal. When I gaze upon any one, a thousand sword fights dance before my eyes. The sword play far exceeding anything I have learned. And better yet, they welcome those who wish to pursue higher realms with open arms. The general? You lie! I've already finished my assignment at the Alchemy Commission. I have no further orders. This is my own time. I came here to learn from Master Apira. To learn from these swords. Apira? That Heliobus's name is Apira? Correct. Master Apira promised to show me the flaws in my swordplay and how to take it to the next level. That's why I brought them the Dragon Prayer Terrace. Where I suffered my most serious setback. Young one, with me, everything will be different. Whether it be imbibed or lunae, the 
Deleron hunters or that woman, your accomplishments will exceed them. You will be matchless without limits. Matchless without limits. <sighs> You're just in time. The swords have taught me something already. I'd like to see how sharp my skills have become. I don't feel like General is going to be uh I've been through countless defeats. Very happy about this. Hyra is my master. No longer. Why is he attacking us? There's no time to lose. The name of Len a will forged in ice. Never falters! Conflict is pitiless. Let's make it quick. Hope you're prepared. Punish evil. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Let's go. Name of Len, a will forged in ice, never falters. Sorry, I've been mostly silent today. There's just not been much to talk about. We're just having a good time following the story. Out of moves. Is that all? Eternal sleep. The dead return. Rules are made to be broken. A sword fight must be fought with sincerity of heart and mind. Give it to your all. Lieutenant Yenqing, snap out of it. We don't want to fight you, but I want to fight you. And we're just getting started. Cut through the rest. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Their skills are nothing compared to mine. What can I learn from any of them? Then, why not hack them down? Here. Hack them down? I thought we were just sparring. The laws of the battlefield are no different from the laws of the universe. Life or victory, and death or defeat. Swordsmanship is the art of victory, and only the victorious swords can be passed on. Swords defeated are buried among the barren wastelands. But... You're... resisting me? <sighs> Rid yourself of these needless notions of clemency. How can you move forward without casting these distractions aside? Raise your sword. <laughs> Life for victory and death for defeat, huh? All this talk of laws of the battlefield in the universe. You think that gives the appearance of a grandmaster? You're just using someone else's ambition to satisfy your own desire to shed blood. This Xuan Yuan sword in my hand has been passed down through my family for generations. When my mother gave it to me, she said, the bread may bake, but the hearth remains. And for a long time, I had no idea what she was talking about. Today, I just realized I misheard her. I think she actually said, the edge may break, but the heart remains. Probably. The Lieutenant Yinching, the winner and loser of this battle, have yet to be determined. Don't give me that. There is no point in fighting any longer speech. <laughs> this little wench's fighting spirit is on fire. Young one, since she insists on fighting, Will you give her our answer? I... I won't back down. Mr. Shang, you... This is between fellow Cloud Knights. Losing a fight isn't a big deal. But if I abandon my fellow soldiers and bring dishonor to the Knights, how could I wield my sword again? Granted, I might not last more than a few moves. You guys go get the General, quickly! I'll try and hold him off until he gets here. Mr. Jing Yuan, 
They have possessed your boy. Su Shong, my bestie. Why is she so stubborn? Still, that was pretty freaking cool. The spirit bearer told me that the general is still in Fixtral Garden. Let's hurry. I think the only one that can break Yan Qing's illusion is Jing Yan himself. But the general's right here. <laughs> I'm dumb. Ignore that. Uh, win a battle with all four allies having HP percentage equal to or less than 5%. That is a very annoying to get one, so I'm quite happy that it gave me that. Three hundred and sixty three accomplishments. Jing Yuan, please help us. Oh, I can do more than one in a day. One. Two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, no. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Was more. You figured it out? Something must have gone wrong. Don't celebrate too soon. I was going soft with you before. Now I'll unleash my true potential. A diamond in the rough. Okay. Cirrus! Oh, is something the matter? You seem out of breath. You tell Jing Yuan about what happened at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Hmm. A helio bus that creates illusions for the sole purpose of instructing someone in sword play. <laughs> I wouldn't mind learning a few tricks from them myself. Unfortunately, it sounds like this one is a little too aggressive to be a decent sparring partner. This is not an adversary that someone as young as Yen Qing is equipped to deal with. Literally, they're doing the exact same pose. This is so funny. Like, down to the knee bend and everything. General, we need to move fast. If we wait any longer, I'm afraid that Sushan might be... I can understand your sense of urgency. But before I leave, I have a question for Cirrus, who has been listening this whole time. I trust you are familiar with Pyra. Naturally. Among the Heliobi... Pyra manifests the courage and warring spirit of Ignemar. They are the most aggressive of all the fragments. But who is this sword master? Who is Yin Ching? My apprentice. <laughs> oh, no wonder I smell a hint of sadness in you. In order to rescue his incompetent apprentice, the master must fight on the battlefield himself. I must say, I'm very envious of Pyra. You'll know the flavor of sadness, but not its meaning. An apprentice obsessed with victory and defeat has lost his mind to a helio bus and is now trying to shortcut his way to mastery of the sword. This is my failure to him as a master. And the source of grief you see in me now. <laughs> then you should hurry. Pyra has an insatiable bloodlust. Once they've enslaved your mind, they can make you turn against your friends, your kin, even your own master. Go! I don't wish to delay your death match with your apprentice. Oh, we don't even have to fight Cirrus this time? Su Shong is awaiting our timely arrival at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Let's go. Once we get done with this one, we will do our pulls for the day, and then I will say that we will be done with this stream. 
But we did complete our task. We wanted to get the two main quests done out of four of them. Or five. Oh, However many there are. Swordsmen have you not any pride. Do you want to repeat the disaster you suffered at Dragon Prayer Terrace? It's time to finish it. Only blood can cleanse the shame of the sword. He won't do it. General. Young one, your old teacher has arrived. Under his tutelage, you never experienced true failure. But after suffering your first major setback, your confidence in your swordsmanship has been faltering. You worry that the general is disappointed in you. You worry that you don't have what it takes to be the person the general wants you to be. Now, show him what I have taught you. He'll be very proud of your progress. Tell him that with your sword, you will bring victory to the Sienjo. With... with my sword. Yan Ching would never draw his sword on me to prove himself. I have confidence in him. This confidence is not a belief that he will win every contest. It is a belief that he will one day break free from the paradigm of victory and defeat and realize his true reason for wielding the sword. The pleasure of swordsmanship, the saving of life, and the dispatchment of enemies. This truth must be discovered by himself. No one can teach it to him. Now is the time for him to take that step. General. Break free from victory and defeat? Those are just empty words to comfort the dead and the defeated. Think of your crushing defeat at Dragon Prayer Terrace. Think of how you felt then, teetering on the brink of death. If the sword of that Stellaron Hunter had pierced your flesh, you wouldn't be standing here pondering the meaning of victory and defeat. All your chains. Draw your sword on your master. To the general who is trying to imprison you. Draw your sword. General, allow me to demonstrate my swordsmanship. I hereby challenge you. Challenge these swords to battle! Young fool, how disappointing. Your accomplishments would have been limitless. But you've been led astray by empty idealism. None of that matters anymore. While teaching you, I studied your every move inside out. And now you wish to throw down the gauntlet. Techniques, I will teach you one final lesson. Evil Yan Ching? every stroke and sway. I've committed it all to memory. Now, allow me to demonstrate. With merciless intent, how powerful I am. Never falter! No, Yang Ching. Conceal your form and hide your intentions. Don't fall for their distractions. Understood. Let's make it quick. Hope you're ready. 
Tracker prepared. There's no time to lose. Punish evil. Is that all? You chose the wrong in the enemy. name of Landa. A will forged in ice never falters. Follow my charge. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. This ends here. I'll see you. The name of land a will forged in ice. Never falters. There's no time to lose. Let's make it quick. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Let's go. Hope you're prepared. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. <laughs> Show no mercy. Let's make it quick. There's no time to lose. I'll see you off. This ends here. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. One stroke of luck, one victory. <sighs> Impressive. I uh, best it. Ew, it's about time we got this guy into the gourd. I know what you wish to say, Yanqing. We can move past the melodrama. He's like, let's just skip the, uh, the, the apologies. <laughs> then, uh, to the rest of you, thank you for bringing me out of that daze. Especially you, Miss Sushong. Why does everyone that gets Helio Bust love to apologize for it? You're the victim here. They're the ones stirring up chaos. It should be me thanking you for holding back during our battle. Or maybe, just maybe, it's due to a sudden skill improvement? Uh, don't you think? Haha, <laughs> right. Conscious Sushong is pretty badass. We're gonna need to get you a front page news story for this one. Heck, let's get some billboards! Oh, you've made it your daily mission to tease me, huh? With respect to this incident, what is your plan for posting on the Lofu's ghostly grove? Since it concerns the seat of divine foresight, I am hoping you could... Well, about that. Let me discuss it with him first. LOL. All right. Breaking news. You won't really believe this. Fiction becomes real life. 
Artisan Commission unveils new tech that will change Cloud Nights forever. Showbiz. Lead actor mysteriously missing from set. The reason will shock you speechless. I like this one. An immersion. Is everyone okay with this? Thanks for covering for me. I'm so embarrassed. All's well that ends well. We should hurry back and lock Apira in the evil binding matrix. They're a dangerous one. I'm afraid they might escape. Well then. Yen Ching and I will take our leave now. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, is anyone around for me to converse with? Nope. I'm on this platform by myself. <laughs> Actually, I'm well aware of my own limits. If it weren't for Yenching resisting that Helio bus, maybe I wouldn't have been able to hold on until you brought reinforcements. Come to think of it, we only needed one person to fetch reinforcements. Why didn't we get him to stay behind with you? And why didn't you ask? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I was caught up in the moment. I guess I never thought it through. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder whether your head's screwed on right. We need to take you to the Alchemy Commission for a checkup. Maybe, but my actions kept everyone safe, and that's what matters. Miss Hoha needed someone to look out for her, and Little Play is just a civilian. And you shouldn't be putting yourself in risky situations. As for him, he's a distinguished guest of the Seed of Divine Foresight. If anything were to happen to him, it could turn into a diplomatic crisis. After weighing things up in my head, it made the most sense for only me to stay put. If I still had my tail, I wouldn't be slowing everyone down. Sorry, Haha. Uh -huh. I, I didn't think it through. You were never a burden. It's not your fault, Miss Sushung. It's just... I've been wondering... Uh, how can someone average like me keep up with the affairs of the Ten Lords Commission without my tail. <sighs> Forget it. We should get some rest. There could be even bigger dangers waiting for us tomorrow. I'm exhausted. You are incredible, Miss Sushang. I feel like that boy Yanqing didn't use his full strength at all. It's like a kind of willpower that only only be cultivated after experience countless battles. I don't understand your martial arts, guys. I'm so tired, little Gui. Maybe you should talk about account-related stuff. We got a lot of different gifts sent by the fans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> I love this group dynamic. <laughs> Where's your yeah, Sushang? Sushang? Sushang is exhausted and probably asleep by now. I see. Then it's just the three of us to celebrate our success. Let's celebrate! Ta-da! Suppression Tower, part of the Fixtral Garden's evil binding matrix. Is containment receptacle to restrain Heliobi? I have something to share with everyone, so listen up. Is everyone here? Then I'll begin. <laughs> If everyone could please turn their eyes towards me, I have an announcement to make. Last time I heard this kind of talk was back during the Cloud Knight's basic training. Basically, I got a parcel recently. When I opened it, there was a silver subscription commemorative medallion from Ghostly Grove. Basically, if you get 100,000 subscribers, then you'll get a silver medallion. It's like the YouTube play buttons. After the silver one comes a gold medallion for a million subscribers, so the silver medallion is quite valuable indeed. 
To put it another way, we put out so much high quality content that our fan base for the account has been rapidly increasing. If you ask me, this is thanks to everyone's efforts, and that's why I've called everyone over. Same to you. Me too. I've called everyone over because I think we have an equal share in this battalion. Each one of us forms an indispensable part of the squad. Without everyone shipping in, there'd never be such a flashy program. That's why I want to give this medallion to everyone. It's just one medallion. Hold on to it for yourself. Su Shang's right. There's only one of these, and it can't be split up. And anyway, this achievement is also impossible without our fan base supporting us. So after Racky and Banes, I've decided to upload a video to my personal account of the Ghostly Grove as an acceptance speech, and also do me an Ask Me Anything segment with the fans so I can get a little something back. I hope Kayla's can help too, so you have lots of ideas and general knowledge. You can help me choose questions, record video content and stuff, and like being on camera together with me. <laughs> I get social anxiety, can I not? Hehe, <laughs> no problem. That's it then. Everyone should finish up with their own stuff first, so I'll arrange for you to shoot the video content later. As for the fan Q&A segment, I'll collect those up in a bit. Kayla's, can you please see if there's any interesting questions? In progress. Um, is the stream all special effects trying to scare people with fake spooky stuff? What if the what if you scared the kids? Don't you have any sense of decency? It's all real. It's up to you to believe it. Don't watch if you don't like it. Go watch your kitty shows. I've seen this hater around lots of times. They really have got nothing better to do. I used to love your outdoor streams, especially your live shopping and restaurant visit contents. You've been to many places, and I was wondering, what do you like best in the CN show? There are so many, let me think. Have you not been streaming recently? Will you still do it in the future? I love putting on your live restaurant visit videos on the speaker to help me sleep. Haha, <laughs> I don't have any current plans to retire. I wish they were streaming every day. Outwilders are only youthful for so long, they can't rely on this job for their entire life. We can crowdfund to help little Gwei keep streaming on the CN show. Gwei Gwei, why did you become a streamer? I've always been curious about that. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Gwei Gwei, why did you become... It's the same thing. Can you stop spamming? It's super annoying. Uh, Nifen, Uncle here is very proud of you. Seeing you speak the CN show language so eloquently on your stream, you must have practiced hard. I've witnessed your hard work and, I'm a, and the amount of effort you put in, and I'm really happy for you. You must be raking it in with your subscriber count, right? Can we take a look at your monthly income? An avalanche of questions overwhelms you, and you almost get lost inside the social network that's sometimes witty, sometimes harsh, and sometimes warm, and even sometimes touching. Coming back to your senses, you have come to reply, rely on your own superior sense of morality, and based on your understanding of Gwenaifen from the past few days, you keep flipping through the options. As the deadline of submitting questions approaches, Gwenaifen asks you to shoot the location for the Q&A segment. You pick out a few interesting questions before you. Let me think. Why don't we shoot over at Starskip Haven? See you there. I told her to do it later because I am not going to do it right this second. Um, as you can see, we have unlocked more of these. So it looks like when you do like the main quests, you unlock these, which will make it easier for me to do it when I'm not on stream. Uh, now if I actually do it, we'll see. I might be able to get a few of these levels while you all aren't here. But don't worry, I won't take the uh, the stuff until I'm on stream. We're making some progress. Okay, this is the one. Hands down, fully automatic are the real deal. We should arm everyone with automatic weapons. We gotta flaunt the martial prowess of the Sienjo folk and show them what we're made of. It would be great if there was a couple dozen automatic little guays running around to write the scripts and do the live stream performance in my stead. Okay. So that is all of that. We have reached our two hour mark. I have to be careful. I have, I have to go to an appointment after this um, that I don't go on too long. Okay, so the part I have been waiting for, and I'm sure you've been waiting for too, I have a lot of these. I should go and exchange these before we do anything. Oh, well maybe. There we go. All right, so as you can see, 
in preparation for Argenti, we have been saving for quite a bit, a few different um, banners. And so we have saved, ow, I just bumped my knee real bad, um, 175 wishes. Now, I want you all to know that I already have 50 pity on the limited banner because I've been pulling the uh, limited time characters or like kind of test, like tempting fate by pulling for the four, the new four stars that were coming out. So I'm already at 50, but I'm not guaranteed the, the win. So let's see what we get get to use up all of my okay no four star no five star in that one but we might get Hanya that puts us at 60 let's see Hanya Hanya ah the bowls probably won't get Hanya then or another four star let's see no. Okay. Not the worst. Not the best. Alright, so this would put us at 70 pity. And I usually get somewhere between like 70 to 80 is when I usually get my 5 star. Alright, so that's 70. Hanya. 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 Ah, Lynx. Still good, because I don't have, like, uh, Sushong. They're like, we're going to give you every four star except for Hanya. Oh, Sushong's not even on this banner. Uh, all right. 80? No? Really? I usually have it somewhere between 70 and 80. It's like, we see the amount of, like tickets you've saved up we gotta make you waste all of them because 90 is the guaranteed i think okay hanya 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 not hanya hanya <laughs> okay we have successfully gotten the new four star all right this is gonna put me at max pity Please let me le win the 50-50. Please. Please. Okay, okay, yep, yep, we knew this is- we were guaranteed the 5 star in this poll. Oh my gosh. Argenti, 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 Argenti. I have been saving for you, sir. Okay, that's, what, 7 or 82? 83? 84? Oh, another Hanya. 85. 86. Well, it's not Argenti, but I also can't be mad. That was 87. 2. 3. If I was going to get any 5 star for the standard banner, that's not Gapard. I'm not, I'm sad that I didn't get him, but I'm not like horrendously angry, but we have been saving long enough that it does not matter. I, even if I have to max up to another 90, I'm getting him regardless. <laughs> um, but, where is it? Go back. But this makes this way easier. I have Himiko. I just got Welt. I have Branya. I have um, Gapard, and I have Bailu. I'm literally only missing Clara and Yanqing, and I don't really care for either of these. I only want Clara because I already have her five star light cone, um, but I'm sure I'll get her in time. I don't really want either of these characters. Uh, my biggest issue is I was debating between these two because I really wanted Welt. And I hadn't gotten him. And so I was like, oh, do I E1 my Gapard or do I get Welt? But I just got Welt, so it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just 100% once I get the next 70 pulls, we're getting Gapard. So I can get him at E1. <sighs> well, I, I say this is a win, everyone. Streamer luck. Let's see if we can get him before 50, um, 50 pulls, though. So that I can maybe get his light cone. 
Okay, that puts us at 10, at 13. All right, since we've gotten Hanya and we've gotten um, the five star, I'm just gonna start hitting the skip button. We don't need to see every pull. Okay. I don't even have Topaz, so that's, eh. All right, 23. Nope. Well, it would be great as if we uh, E6 Hanya. This is already E2. All right, 33. Nope. Or Lynx. I definitely am rooting for Hanya and Lynx Eidolons. I've already maxed out her. I don't need more of them. 43. Also, no. Come on. Hanya and Lynx Eidolons. Okay, another Lynx. Great. Alright. Streamer luck. 53? 53? Ah, no streamer luck. Oh, I needed that. Nice. That's not even on the weapon banner. That one's on the weapon banner and I needed that one. Okay. So that was 53. 63, early pity. Nope. They're like, we need to make you waste your tickets. You've saved too many of them. Hi, Asta. 73? Please? No? Oh my gosh. Argentini is just like, I don't want to come home. You're not beautiful enough for my standards. Another Hanya? So that's E3 for Hanya. 83? Okay, 83, 83. Okay, okay, okay. We're guaranteed, obviously, because we got well earlier. Okay, so that was 74. Hi, Sampo. 75. 76. 77. 78. 79. Woo! All right, 80, 81, or two, technically. Three, four. Yes, we have him, the Knight of Beauty. Oh, I've been saving for this man. I'm so happy to see him. Okay, so we still have a few pulls. So we're gonna go to his weapon banner and see what we can get. We only have seven pity on the weapon banner, so I'm not expecting a lot. Um, this will get us up to 57, um, which probably means I will at least get a five star weapon of some form on this banner because we still have 20 more days or 18 more days. Um, but and I'll be skipping for this one too because it's just light cones. So that puts me at 17. Gwenaifen? You aren't- this is a weapon banner, excuse me. Alright, 27. Thirty-seven. It's giving me this light cone I don't need. Uh... 47. Hi, Gwenaifen. And 
and 57. Alright, so we haven't gotten it. We've made a good dent. Like I said, once we finish the two events that are currently available, we'll probably have more than enough to get up to probably the 70-80 that I need to get the 5 star light cone. I hope it takes pity on us and actually gives us the the banner light cone, because if Life it doesn't, I'm probably not going to be able to get it. Um, so let's go do all of our upgrades that we just got. All of our Edelons. So we E6, Asta, we got E2, Sushong, uh, we got E2, Ling, we got E2, Life's all about savoring the moment. E2 Gwenaifen. My new man. Oh, I've been wanting him for a while. And my boy I've been saving for. And of course, Hanya. And we got quite a few of her Edelons. In the obscure prophecy of dream, a star from the heavens has enlightened my path. In the obscure prophecy of dream, a star from the heavens has enlightened my path. And then, let's see, I want to check something. Uh, store. Ooh, I'm getting really close on time. Uh, 280. We could get enough passes that I could probably... Oh my gosh, I straight up almost could get 20 passes. Um, which would probably get me the Edel on now, but we are saving for these because not only do I need to max out this one in super impositions, I now have Himiko, I now have Welt. Branya and Bailu already have their light cones, so I also need to get these for Welt and Himiko. Okay. Well. I would say that that was a very, oh yeah, speaking of which, um, I have been, I have quite a bit of stuff for this man. You can't see it. There it is. I have been building up some keys while I've been in waiting. <laughs> There's not enough to max them out in one sitting, but I've been building them up. All right. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. We have had great streaming luck today. We lost 50-50, but we lost it to Welt, so it's a win anyway. And I had more than enough uh, wishes that it did not matter. Um, he was really resistant to coming home, but and it did, again, didn't matter. Um, so I all hope you, thank you so much for coming to my early stream. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, thanks so much for watching the Twitch archive. Um, I hope you all have a lovely evening and a lovely rest of your day and probably weekend and that you all get some good sleep. So goodbye.